Howdy folks, name's Darth Alpha, uh, just picking up here for episode 4. Um, so last episode we made very little progress just because the uh, early game of RimWorld is very limited by the amount of people you have and a lot of our efforts are being taken up in trying to get these two prisoners here. So I'm going to try and speed things along here. Um, let's see, we are quite low on food right now. We've already gotten our smoke leaf, ah, a little bit of a smoke leaf harvest. Um, so I'm going to tell them to stop sowing this, and once we get all of our smoke leaf harvested, we're going to probably plant some more corn. Um, that rice harvest did not last quite as long as I was hoping. Um, so we're going to have to hunt a little bit in the interim. We're going to hunt some gazelle real quick. I also figured out, I think it was last episode, there was something funky with the auto slaughter. Uh, a predator had killed, um, had killed the male alpaca on the map, so we were taming the three females. Whoops. Okay, we got more cotton going in. Um, clothing is coming along quickly. Uh, these boots can only be made of leather, though. So as we do a little bit more hunting, um, that'll get sorted out pretty quick. All right, we're pl planting the last bit of our heel root. We've got our workshop almost done being constructed. Yeah. So I guess here's another question for you guys. Um, how many of you have actually beaten RimWorld? Have finished it in its entirety? Have a... Uh, yeah, have, uh, have seen the end game screen? Because I suspect not a lot of you have. Um, especially if you haven't done it before... The three-day challenge sort of uh, wraps things up. I bet you there are quite a few of you who have not. All right. Oh, we got starvation. Okay, so let's go hunting. Life, gazelle. Okay, smarts, come on. Let's hunt. All right. One shot. Take out a kidney, take down from pain. Okay, and then Brant, come on down here. Let's do some butchering. A little bit of micromanagement right now, but starvation is nothing to mess around with. And we don't have any power. Lovely. There we go. Strike while the iron's hot. Let's get some cooking done. Okay. Low on food again. Hunter. Smarts. Let's go get another one. Once you wake up, that is. That little bit of food will tide us over for a minute. But yeah, um, if if you guys have finished the game, I'd love to know how you finished it. Because um, I think there's three or four ways to finish the game now. There's Actually, it's going to be three. Because you've got the... Oh, no, four, I guess. Launching your own ship. Finding the ship after caravanning to it. Uh, the royalty. And then the Archonexus. Um, so that... I think that's kind of interesting. Also, don't we have a... Yeah, we've got a dumping stockpile over there. Alright, smarts. Bringing home another one. Love me a man that can bring home the bacon. A badger named Giddy. Well, sorry Giddy, but um... You look pretty tasty there. Squishy print. There you go. Let's see. Is 
So that's not too far, but I don't think we're in any position to caravan out right now. Okay, clips. Monumental structure. That's actually not too bad. And an advanced component. Ooh. What do we have for big building blocks right now? We got 800 slate. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, let's go to quests and let's accept this. Because, yeah, we only need 35, so I think we're going to go for the advanced component. We're going to install this. Yeah, this is tiny, so we can put it all just about anywhere we want. And then once we're done with it, just tear it down. Okay. Clothing's going well. Okay, so we've got these cloth tactical vests. Um, if you've not played combat extended before, these vests and the backpacks are pretty much mandatory. Um, they increase the amount of bulk you can carry significantly. I believe they well over double it. Yeah, well over double. Um, so it allows you to um, carry more ammunition, because uh, ammunition tends to be fairly lightweight, but quite bulky. Um, and I guess that inventory system needs a bit of explaining as well. Um, you can carry a certain amount of mass, um, and then a certain amount of bulk. So, like for instance, a beach ball doesn't weigh that much, but you can't really carry three of them at the same time just because they're so large. Um... But if you had tools to do it, you could do it quite easily. Provisional labors. They want one colonist. Eleven Glitter World medicine. Six days. What's Chili good at again? Chili is doing mining. Clean. Huh. Not a terrible idea. We'll give that a minute. Right in our German Shepherd. So yeah, things are just cooking along right now. Not a whole lot to be said. Um, in fact, I think I am going to pause the recording. I'm going to keep building, keep expanding, keep going until something interesting happens, because um, I want to show off Combat Extended more than just how to play the uh, early game of RimWorld. I guess we're almost more in the mid-game at this point. Uh, the, er the, the end of er early game, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, and I will get back with you guys as soon as something interesting happens. All right, just a real quick side note. We had an ambrosia sprout. Nothing too crazy, but I'm gonna show you real quick how to make sure that your people automatically harvest this. So you can set a growing zone around them. You can tell them do not allow sowing. And um, as these things inside here mature, um, they will get harvested. In fact, you can shrink it down as well to minimize the amount. You gotta make sure everything's touching at least one spot, but that's not too hard. Like so. Go in here a little bit. Like so. Oh. Probably can be a little neater, but that's what we got. So as these ambrosia mature, uh, our growers will go down and harvest them. That's about it. All right, uh, just another thing, a little update. We're just doing more hunting, and we've gotten a uh, offer for someone to join us. They have paralytic abasia. Um, they're obviously not on the map currently. Um, and I'm wondering if we should take them. I think we're gonna. Let's see. But they're not gonna be our ideal legion. We have... No, we have enough mouths to feed and people that can't do their own work right now. I think we're actually going to... At least we're gonna hold off for now. We're gonna... So we're gonna postpone. We're gonna keep that going. Hopefully this ticks down. Oh, and we have a raid. Good thing I hit play. So we've got a man with a club here. 
And two ladies with sharp things. Alright, Chili, you don't have a weapon. Let's give you some of these javelins. So I'm going to tell him to pick up all of these. So now they're in this inventory. Right click here, equip. Okay, so we're going to do Chili and Brant. Going to come down here. Do something like that. And then Smarts and Squishy. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. And they are attacking immediately. No, they're preparing. Oh, perfect. Okay. So in that case, um, smarts, we're going to try and conserve your ammunition here because we are getting about halfway down. Uh, though we still have some of the magazine, so um, it's not quite as bad as it looks. But we're going to hold off for a little bit on you. And we're going to try and conserve ammunition here as well. So Chili... And Brant are actually going to be the ones who deal with this. We're going to, in that case, drop the last one. Pick that up. And so now we have five javelins and a knife. Oh. That's obnoxious. What do you have? Rebel? Ugh, that's an annoying, annoying trait. Okay, what do we have on the range for this javelin? Not far at all. Advance a little bit here. Down here. Here we go. Come back over here. Whoa. Oh, you suck. Okay. Good hit. Let's see what happened here. Ah, liver. That would do it. You're almost out of ammo. You hit her in the torso. Okay, and then it hit her. Okay. Well, real quick, let's do this. Oh! Brant got... Oh, no. That's not good at all. Okay. Um, skulls... Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Because now you have this terrible weapon, and you are really good at melee. Okay. Squishy, come rescue. Okay, got her. Um, you're going to bleed out. You're not actually in any particular risk. You're just... Now you have a brain injury. Okay, that's really obnoxious. We're going to rescue Brant. Squishy is going to do her own thing. Smarts, what have you been doing? You've been hunting. Okay. Squishy, come on up here. There's a man with a club that needs talking to. I'm going to leave this person forbidden over there. Forbid that. Set that to haul urgently. Taisha? Taisa? Taika? However you say your name. Yeah, we can't take you. Especially, yeah, no, we, we cannot. Which is unfortunate, because you seem like you'd actually be pretty good. Ooh, Dromus, however. Nervous. Iron Stomach is pretty good. Great Memory is pretty good. Chemical Interest is fine. Um, yeah. I mean, chemical, chemical Interest can get them into problems, but it's not that big a deal. So, poor Brant is going to be pretty much screwed until we can either get Brain Surgery... Okay, now we're going to switch you to Snapshot, so you can pop off another hit. There we go. Okay, left arm, torso, not bleeding out particularly fast. Um, okay, these guys are having problems. I think White has had two crises of belief, which is really obnoxious, because it resets all the progress that you make towards converting them. Um, and just switches them to a different religion. Is this one any good? Tree? What? 
Tree Connection Pirate Insect Supremacy. Now that's an interesting combo. Wow. And they really like this makeshift rifle. Huh. Well. And are any of you any good? animals autistic no sorry buddy you're just gonna have to stay down we're gonna tell you to oh, whatever strip them. uh just don't even strip them just leave them there reload so i wonder if brent will be able to regain consciousness is this a pain issue or a consciousness I think it's pain, but Brant is pretty messed up at this point. So Brant's gonna stay that way pretty much until we get a good supply of Luciferium. Which is quite unfortunate. The absent minded. Your mind is pretty absent with a brain injury like that. Jeez. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, you were a cook. Well, we can't have you cooking with a brain injury like that. Your uh, consciousness and manipulation are going to give uh, cause you to have food poisoning all the time. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, that's another reason why helmets are important. Helmets and bulletproof vests. I can't do anything with any... Well, I can make leather armor. Is this any good? So Thrumbo Fur is really bullet resistant, but that's just because it's basically magic. Uh, Fenrir Skin is just about as good. It might be slightly better in Blunt. Nope, not quite as good. Um, so it's better than nothing, but that's not saying much, honestly. Bear Skin? Bear Skin's a little better. Well have to hold off on that. Um, I think these visage masks, I can make these out of steel. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. So do this. I'm going to copy this one, paste there. And we're going to set it to be... If one of these were made out of wood, how will that, will that protect? Almost nothing. Millimeter and a half. Three out of plastic. Okay. Um, we're just going to do steel. And we're going to set some of these to be mined. Boost our steel a little bit. Is Chili injured? Oh, shoot. Uh, smarts. Tend to Chili, please. Clean up a little bit. There we go. Well, that raid went not well, honestly. No one died, but poor Brant may never walk again. Oh, boy. Well, <clears throat> I guess it's time to break out. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. Okay, so we're going to go here to production. We're going to do some nutrient paste. Um, I see a lot of people don't like that don't understand how this works or um, dislike it for some reason. Honestly, nutrient paste is one of the stronger options here in the game. Uh, it has some downsides, obviously, but uh, how are we going to fit this in here? So we're going to have to do... We're going to reinstall this to the bedroom. That's fine this because of the building priorities they're gonna keep uh, they're gonna not do those for a minute gonna come over here and if we do it like this then we'll have room to get behind it okay perfect we're gonna move this Having these wind turbines right here is causing a little bit of a problem, but it's fine. Go in here and re 
research. We're gonna do batteries first. Um, you can uh, prepend stuff by, I think it's called, yeah, Alt, left click. So it adds it um, to the very beginning. Quite handy. We have free love set up in... Okay, well that's a easy fix. We're gonna go here to furniture. That makes this real easy. Okay, so Chili's gonna try and knock out batteries, but that's not gonna... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to reject you. Oh! Why? Where is that at? Do they have a... Smarts, you're in love. Oh, no. Oh, okay, no. Okay. Squishy is your sister. Good. Savannah. Okay. Oof. That was worrying. Okay, we're making these visage masks, which is going to help prevent that problem. Uh, a millimeter and a half on the head is not going to protect really against bullets. Uh, that that makes you fairly immune to arrows fired not from a crossbow or great bow, though. Um, and it should make you relatively resistant to, like, a knife. Um, let's see. Where's the penetration here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that's totally going to block knives, which is good. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try and get this done. Try not to starve to death. I think I might have to switch over some stuff to berries. Um, in fact, we're going to do that real quick. Strawberries. Your hunting is your priority. Okay. Well, uh, we'll try and get this figured out, and uh, I will come back to you once we've got something more to show for it. Okay, so real quick, um, we're just having a bit of a dry thunderstorm right now, which is not a huge... Not a huge deal, but I wanted to highlight something that Combat Exchange, er, Combat Extended does uh, with fire. So fire in real life makes smoke, and smoke is not good because, in addition to not being oxygen, uh, it is not good for you to breathe that in at all. Um, Combat Extended simulates this by you can see down here, down here. There we go. It says black smoke, uh, six ppm. That's six parts per million, um, which is very low. Um, there was a small fire just here on the uh, on the side here, um, and we might end up getting another one right there. But um, what that means is that this room is slowly filling with smoke, um, so long as there's a fire on the wall or inside. It. That can kill your pawns very, very quickly. Um, it'll build up under roofs, uh, but. It, it won't build up like outside like out here there's no smoke at all even though there's actually quite a large fire uh maybe maybe there's a small fire problem that i have also um just as a side note grant will never walk again uh the pain caused by the brain scar uh is too incapacitating combined with the fact that her brain is injured she just simply will not walk um i've also released our two prisoners too many mouths to feed, too many, too few hands to feed them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep dealing with this fire, but um, there's a couple ways you can protect your people against the smoke. Uh, there are gas masks, but those reduce breathing, which is problematic. Um, it's, you know, as, as anyone will tell you over the past couple of years, it is a little bit harder to breathe with a mask. Uh, not super incredibly difficult, but uh, it's a little bit harder to breathe. And then the better masks you get, the harder it is. Uh, there are makeshift masks, which I think you can make straight away. Makeshift, makeshift. Mask? Yeah, improvised gas mask. Uh, these are 60% effective at uh, dealing with smoke. There's a proper sort of military-looking gas mask, which I believe is 100%. And then marine 
uh, recon marine and cataphract helmets also are 100% effective at filtering out smoke, uh, as well as those reduce your toxic sensitivity. Those are handy, but in my opinion, the downsides, uh, with the exception of like marine armor and stuff, the downsides uh, for the breathing penalty is is too bad in my opinion to just wear them constantly. Uh, you could set up something where like there's a firefighter kit or something. Uh, it really becomes problems if you're building inside the mountain uh, because an internal fire will quickly build up, in addition to heat, uh, smoke, and anyone who tries to firefight that is just going to die of smoke inhalation. Uh, so there's there's ways you can combat that, but it, it's still a pain. Uh, the best way to deal with smoke is... Uh, to just open up doors, like these doors right here. I'm going to just select all these guys. I'm going to tell them to be held open. Um, and smoke will slowly make its way out. Um, you can also unroof areas. That will help. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to keep going. Um, yeah, I'll probably just stop here in a minute once uh, something interesting happens. And yeah, I'll be right back. All right, last little bit um, before we call it for today. Uh, we got two back-to-back -back transport um, transport crashes on the same day. So we've got... What? Oh, I guess you bled to death already. No. Who are you? What? Oh, that was Oliver. Right, which we denied their joining. Okay. Uh, well, now I feel slightly bad. I didn't realize that they actually crash landed. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> and we also have uh, Dale over here. Dale is a tier two Android. Uh, those of you who have never played with the Android tiers mod, there's uh, five different tiers of Androids and then a couple special ones. Um, so tier two is slightly not as good as humans. Tier three is human analog. Tier four is better. Tier five is, uh, I believe, Arcotech. Uh, but tier one is like, think like battle droids from uh, Star Wars uh, but so he's not too bad but he's got some very good uh, skills here uh, cooking is reasonable plants is fantastic social is fantastic though I believe he has problems or tier 2 androids are not very good at social um, they're also not quite as quick at learning and I think for the most part they typically don't have passions uh, I am actually going to come over here and I don't believe you have idea legends, no. So I'm going to rescue Dale. Uh, Dale will not bleed out. Uh, most androids that land on your map typically are not in pain enough to be down, or not damaged enough to be down, but I believe the cracks to his legs are preventing him from moving. And we have a raid. It is a single person with a sharp thing. Sweet. Okay. We're going to have Squishy and Chili deal with that. Uh, and I believe I mentioned earlier, uh, Brant simply will not be able to uh, stand back up. She's permanently disabled. And I had you going to rescue, so I'm going to have to send Smarts rescue. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, they're preparing, so that's not going to be a problem. Back up to speed. Oh, no. Looks like we're not preparing. Okay. Got a shot in the stomach. Probably get one more shot before melee happens. Another shot to the torso. And we're going to run. So, because that person is in pain, we're going to be able to kite her fairly well. Okay. I'm going to tell you just to reload. Okay, they're running off. That's going to actually be uh, pretty good for us because they're going to start uh, taking more and more penalties from blood loss. They might try and patch themselves up, but I don't believe they'll have time. Um, this is also what we're doing for our uh, nutrient paste stuff. I think we can just get away with one of these coolers. Um, it was actually kind of tricky to fit everything in here because we've got our wind turbine so close, but this is just temporary. 
Okay, so yeah, we res we uh, rescued, air quotes, rescued Dale just in time. Yeah. Uh, Helloes is downed. Construction, cooking. Oh, that would be so nice. But the fact that your ideologian is, yeah, you're the Nova Orthodoxy. Hard no Nova Orthodoxy as compared to the uh, soft Nova Orthodoxy. Yeah, you've got problems with us cutting down trees. So, unfortunately, you are just going to have to bleed to death over here. Bye. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there um, for now. Uh, I think I'm going to try and keep doing this where I will pause while the boring stuff is happening and just let us see the interesting stuff. Uh, from now on, just because I, I want to get to the part where we can actually make ammunition and don't have to worry so much about actively starving to death. So, um, I will see you guys around. Talk to you later. Bye.